You are getting the login return time is up message on screen. This is what you will need to check for. We'll start with the shed. The transmitter, which is this unit, is located down at the shed. You need to look for lights. You need to make sure that there is lights flashing on the unit. If the land light is not flashing on the transmitter unit, you will need to follow the cable to the PoE block on the side where it has DC in for power you need to make sure that this connection is secure disconnect the cable if you have to reconnect you will hear a click it's now making contact as you can see here the LAN light is flashing on the transmitter unit If you have multiple cameras on a transmitter receiver, you will have got a five channel switcher. This is what the switcher looks like. Your transmitter will be going into the last port on this switcher, which is port five. As you can see, the port is lighting up. Your cameras will be going into ports one, two, three, four. I have a camera here in port 1, as you can see, it is making contact here, there is a green light flashing. Disconnect the cable, there is no light flashing now. Reconnect the cable, you will hear a click, it is now making contact and it is now lighting up. If you are still getting the login return time is up, you will need to check the camera's power. How you will do that is if you have one socket down at the shed powering two units, which are your camera and your transmitter unit here, then your adapter will look something like this and you will have a two-way splitter attached to the adapter. One will be going into the camera for power, the other will be going into the PoE block on the transmitter. Disconnect the camera from power, reconnect the cable, you should see the camera do a full 360 rotation. If your camera is not rotating after you reconnected the power, you will need to check the power adapter, feel the adapter if it's hot or cold, or you will see a light here as well on the front. While checking the PoE block to the transmitter, make sure your light here is lighting up on the block itself. That's indicating that it's getting power. If you are still getting the login return time is up message on screen at the house, you will need to check the receiver which is located at the house. You will need to check the lights on the receiver, making sure that the LAN light is flashing here. As you can see, it's not flashing, so I'm now going to check the cables. So checking the cable here on the side of the PoE block where the power is going into also. Now I can see here that there is a loose connection. It's not making contact. That is why it's not lighting up here. I'm now going to reconnect that connection. You should hear a click when you push it back in.
like that. If it's still not lighting up here at the receiver on the land light, you will need to go to the NVR unit and you will need to check the connection there. So on the back of port one, you can see there's a loose connection. I'm now going to push that back in. And now the land light is displaying here on the receiver. Removing the receiver unit from the NVR, bypassing the transmitter receiver and connecting the camera straight directly into the NVR unit to see if the issue is the transmitter receiver. I'm going to do that there now. The login return time is up, should disappear off the screen once bypassing the transmitter and receiver. If you have done all of these checks with the transmitter and receiver and you have taken the camera up to the house, bypassed the transmitter receiver, plugged it straight into the MVR unit and the camera is displaying on the television screen, you will need to send back these units to us. So the transmitter, which is located down in the shed, the receiver, which is located at the house, both their POE blocks that look like this. They also come in silver and white and their adapters as well that give them power. They will need to come back also to be tested here.